hello everyone so today also we are going to continue with the helper system so we are going to do some improvements the first thing is here as you can see when i get hit you can see the help bar when it starts to reduce the white part reduces but you can see in red how much of a damage we took as you can see uh, we dynamically see the amount of damage we took and it slowly reduces the health bar so this indication is good so that player can clearly see how much damage player character has taken and the next thing is this is the first this is the ui part and the other thing is uh, this issue so if i play the game in multiplayer mode now earlier i had an issue where the health bar is reflected for the server but now i have fixed it it works properly in a multiplayer game as well so here is the fit. this is actually the uh, demonstration after the fix i have done so here it only reduces the update the health bar value of the current player who is actually taking the damage and for these players it doesn't change anything so that's because i have fixed the issue and i will earlier before the fix it was actually affecting other players uh, health bar as well so actually the health level is not affected but it the health bar is affected so yeah those are the things we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page i'll leave the link in description below once you become a member you can download anything without a limit to the date there are closer to 2000 videos and for each video project file is accessible and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes also in my channel i'll leave a link to the full playlist in the description all right and let's get back to today's tutorial right uh, before we get started with the changes to the help bar i need to resolve one thing so here now let me play with the server and get hit by these characters oh wait okay so here as you can see when i get hit you can see my health is reduced here but it reduced the other player's health also which is not correct so that's because the system is not able to properly identify the local player so for that what we should do is this is something i missed in the last episode that i didn't check in the update health here only i only check if it is player controlled we also need to check if is locally controlled both of these conditions should be true then it will work in the way we intend to okay right let's try again now the two players are somewhere over there get hit okay so as you can see my health is reduced but it's only for the character that actually got hit health for these characters remains unchanged which is the way it should work it's supposed to work okay so that's one minor thing now let's get back to the improvements with the heart so here what I want to do is 
when the health is changed instead of directly dropping the value I need to show some indication of how much health I lose so for that I'm gonna I'm not going to edit this in built-in uh, widget what I'm going to do is simply duplicate this and I'll rename this progress health red and I'll place it in the same location as the previous health bar and background image we don't really need one here so let's clear it out and the tint I'll set alpha to zero so we would not have any background image but I want to have the I want to make the fill color red like this mm, this should be below the regular health bar like this now if I reduce the health the original health bar like this below that I would see the red health bar in red like this so what I want to do is if health is suddenly dropped from 1 to 0.8 then this red health bar should remain like this and it should continue to, it should slowly catch up to this level so that we can see that we did take damage and we can also see how much of a damage we took we had the character has taken which is a good uh, nice indication to have all right so how do we do that so here when we update health i'll promote this to a variable target health percent all right and let's set it like this and as the default value i'll leave it at one and then in the tick we can get the target health value and also we can get the health value of red get percent and then we can check if these two are nearly equal let's say something like 0 0.01 branch let's have a branch if this condition is true I'll set uh, well initially I don't want to do anything otherwise if this is false I need to update like this set percent and as I said I need to slowly increase the value so we can get percent and then let's love this to the target health percent and alpha value let's use something like this world delta seconds multiplied by I'll use one for now so that we can see if it is fast enough to reflect the change all right now let's check oh as you can see we already have this change but that's because i set initial value here 2.8 it should be one let's get it from these enemies see now it catches up but you can see it's uh, 
it doesn't properly match okay so that should be because yeah if I make this very small this should not that should not be a problem yeah that's good see now we can see uh, actually the character is getting damage we need to actually improve our AI system they are too much moving around let's try a quick thing for that maybe in the flank here let's do this randomly so that they don't move around always if it is false i'll do this if it is true let's have a delay let's say three seconds and finish just to prevent them moving around all the time but that's just a uh, temporary thing uh, and also it's not even relevant to what we were to doing today all right so that's good i think we can stop this episode right here so thanks for watching updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know what you guys think about the things i do in the series and yeah see you in the next episode goodbye